Callaway has been one of the leaders in golf equipment for decades. And one of the ways our fitters are able to optimize Callaway clubs for golfers is through the OptiFit Hosel. Today, we'll show you everything that you need to know about the Callaway OptiFit Hosel and how you can make adjustments for your clubs. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, weekend warrior, or a seasoned pro. We believe that all golfers should be using clubs that are fit to their swing. The Callaway OptiFit Hosel has been implemented on the last several series of Callaway drivers, and today we're going to show you how to make those loft and lie adjustments to better optimize your game. So here are some things to take note of with the Callaway OptiFit Hosel. The OptiFit Hosel features two cogs, an upper cog and a lower cog. Altogether, there are four loft adjustments you can make. Minus one, standard, plus one, and plus two. There are two lie adjustments you can make as well. N, which stands for neutral, and D, which promotes a draw with a more upright lie angle. So in total, there are eight possible combinations offered with the Callaway OptiFit Hosel. Now, let's make an actual adjustment to our driver. So to make an adjustment to your Callaway driver, of course, you need your wrench and you need your driver. Step one is gonna be inserting the wrench into the screw here and rotating counterclockwise until that driver head is able to pop off of the shaft. Now, I was in the neutral setting, right? So uh, neutral uh, and S, which re represents everything standard, but I wanna decrease loft by one degree and I wanna promote a draw and move into the draw setting for the line angle. So with the upper cog, I'm going to find minus one and then on the lower cog, I'm going to find the D or draw setting. And I'm going to line them both up with the hash mark, like so. Next, you line up the club head back on top. As you can see here, I've got a hash mark under the nine degree symbol. I've got minus one, I've got D, and then I've got another hash mark. I will reinsert the wrench and rotate clockwise. And then, of course, you have to wait until you hear a couple clicks and you're ready to swing your Callaway driver. With this information, hopefully you can get yourself more dialed in with your Callaway club. You can hit better golf shots and of course you can then shoot lower scores. If you have any questions, you can contact one of our expert fitters here at Second Swing, either in store or through our live chat at secondswing.com. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.